Welcome to my Ranger and Soul Beast best build for Guild Wars 2. For both open world PvE, PvP on World vs. World. Insane damage, very easy to play even for beginners, extremely fun, but average survivability. First, I'm going to give you the build, threats, and gear. Then I will explain you some combos, give you some tips, and finally some gameplay in PvP on World vs. World. English subtitles are available on the YouTube settings. Feel free to subscribe to my channel for more Guild Wars 2 content. Let's go. Here is a build for all game modes. I am playing Longbow on Great Sword. First, I take Marksmanship 2 to 3. All the threats are to increase my damage with Longbow. Hunter's Gears offers me a huge amount of might. For sight, it increases my Longbow damage, and finally, Lead the Wind is mandatory, especially for open world PvE when you are fighting multiple enemies. Here is my longbow attack without this threat. Here is with the threat. You can hit multiple enemies at the same time. I take well down in a survival 3-3-2. Test for danger is free extra vitality. Well down is knowledge is your most important threat. Each time you use a survival skill, you will earn free reboot and clean two conditions. You have 3 survival skills, so you can clean 6 conditions and always have Fury, which is very important because thanks to this minor threat, you deal more damage with Fury. Soul Beast, I take 2 to 3. Live Fast gives me both fear and quickness when I use a Beast skill. This threat is perfect with Essence of Speed threat. Each time I earn quickness, I increase my other boon duration. You also can earn quickness thanks to this skill, and also thanks to Sigil of Agility. Each time you switch weapon in combat, you will earn quickness and increase all your boon durations thanks to the Essence of Speed threat. The gear is Marauder Armor, Berserker and Trinkets. Scholar Rune, to increase my damage. I take Sigil of Force and Sigil of Agility on both weapons. In PvP, I use Marauder Amulet and Divinity Rune. My heal is Trollongan, a heal which will also cure two of my conditions and heal you for 1000 inch seconds for 8 seconds. My advice, don't use it when you are nearly dead, it's too late. Use it when you start to take damage because the heal is very slow and on a very long amount of time. My utility skills, lightning reflexes, use it to break stun and escape when you're in trouble to avoid a burst. Quickening Zephyr, use it to increase your damage. Signet of Stone is mandatory, you don't have any toughness on this build. The passive effect will offer you a very nice amount of toughness, so you will be more tanky. In addition, if you're in trouble, very low health and going to die, you can activate it. You will be invulnerable for 6 seconds. This will give you enough time to escape and to heal. My elite skill is Strength of the Pack, which offers you stability, swiftness and fury. Use it as soon as you are in a difficult fight. My pets are Smoke Skull and Rock Gazelle. I'll explain later how to use them properly. If you want to know how to unlock the two pets I use, check the description. There is a link to each pet location. Now I am going to explain you how to make instant damage with combos. First, you should always start the fight with Longbow. Ranger Longbow is a weapon with the biggest range in Guild Wars 2. You have instant damage with Longbow, you can hit multiple enemies at the same time, and you can attack from very far and stay safe. Damage while your pet is tanking enemies, especially in open world PvE. How to use properly Longbow? First, as soon as you see an enemy, use skill 1 to know when you are in range. As soon as you hit, you can use your skill 2 to make instant damage. The enemy will try to come closer to attack you. You can send your pet to tank him. If the enemy is too close from you, use skill 4. This will bump him far away, so you can keep damage with longbow safely. If the enemy is too close, you can switch weapon and take your greed sword. Now listen carefully, this is the most devastating combo on greed sword. You will kill nearly everyone with it. First, use skill 2, a massive damage skill. Then use skill 5. You will stun the enemy, but will also reset the cooldown of your skill 2. 
That's why you should always use skill 2 before skill 5. And then use skill 2 again. This is the best combo, 2-5-2. It's extremely easy and very devastating. Great sword skill 4 will block incoming attack. Great sword skill 3 offers a huge mobility. Use it either to escape, to travel faster, or to come closer to the enemy if you want to use your great sword to damage. A small tip to make your combo even better in PvP on World vs. World. It's very easy to avoid the great sword skill 2 because of the obvious animation. When you engage your enemy with longbow, just before switching to great sword, use longbow skill 3 will be in stealth, so you can switch great swords on cast skill 2 while being invisible, so the enemy cannot dodge it. You can follow it with great swords 5 and 2 again. What about your soul beast skills? When you enter soul beast mode with a smoke scale, your skill 2 will teleport you to the enemy and make some damage. You can use it to come melee and follow immediately with soul beast skill 3 to make massive damage. With the Rock Gazelle, you can use Soul Beast Skill 2 to either travel faster, to escape, or to reach the enemy. Also, follow immediately with Skill 3 for massive damage. If you need mobility, you can use both Great Sword Skill 3 and Soul Beast with Gazelle Skill 2. That's all for the combos. Now, listen carefully, I'm going to tell you some very important tips, both for beginners and most advanced players. First tip to use properly the longbow, you have to go to the settings and allow target change. If you enable this option, you will be able to change target while casting a skill. This is very important for longbow skill 2. The enemy is dead and skill 2 is still shooting. Fast click on another enemy and you will attack him too, instead of shooting to the already dead enemy. Second tip, remember to use your pet skill and remember to switch pet when needed. Also remember, especially in open world PvE versus a difficult boss, always send your pet first. He will tank the boss while you can damage from range with longbow. Third tip, you can stealth with longbow skill 3. Take advantage of this in PvP on World vs. World if your enemy is downed. Use skill 3 to get in stealth and immediately press F to stomp. Fourth tip, how to use your smoke scale pet to stealth. Your smoke scale skill put a smoke field. If you come inside, you will be in stealth for a short time. You can use it to escape or to disengage from a difficult fight in competitive mode. A good way to stealth is to cast the smoke field and then use great sword skill through the field. You also can use your soul beast skill 3 from any of the two pets I use inside the smoke field. To sum up, the most important thing is to fight as far as possible from the enemy, using longbow and using your pet to tank. You can then switch grid sword when the enemy is coming too close from you. If you want to know how to unlock the two pets I use, check the description, there is a link to each pet location. I hope this video will help you to have fun with your ranger, tell me in comment if you enjoy the build. Feel free to subscribe to my channel for more content. If you need a guide to make gold, or if you need a build for another profession, all links are in the description. If you are using Discord, feel free to join my Guild Wars to Discord community. All Guild Wars to players are welcome. Link is available in the description. See you soon. Enjoy the gameplay and bye.